Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my let's play the game known as Gal Safe 4, or Galactic Division 4. Warlords, apparently, because the expansion we're on right now. Okay, it's episode 9 of my Vitopia. I'm recording this on the 16th of July, 2024. I got to double check, but it's like a Friday, Saturday, easy to up, and this is that episode. Basically, I'm enough. I messed up my timings a little bit. I had it in my head. Another week or two in Gal Save, and then Bar go out. And so it's going to be a few weeks to do the Kenshi's I was trying to do. Well, I managed to pull off 10 Kenshi's. If I can anything else on the, on the channel up to date, looked at the stuff, I was like, ah. Last week I looked at it, it was like, sugar. The last Gal Save goes up, no bars go up. So I had to swap over to Bar quick, the last second. So now it's basically, like I said, Monday. Let's get on with everything. Also, it was a busy weekend. A good, dash busy weekend. Because um, Sunday was my birthday. And the Friday was my anniversary. So, for obvious reasons, and with Saturday thrown in between, I wasn't really planning to have Saturday off, but kind of me and Jim and Tiffy just did stuff together and we played um, a bit of Guild Wars 2. Basically, I got my Guild Wars 1 account back, uh, and we had to go. Uh, we basically downloaded Guild Wars 2, and I got with that. I got bought and had sales on, but the first two expansions. I only got another level 25, but it was something nice to do that's not related to the channel, and what, you know, what I was off. Etc. But obviously it doesn't help with me trying to get everything done in time. So it's really my last like a little tiny mini break on my birthday and anniversary and a little bit of Saturday. Uh, before, you know, the baby comes and everything. So I'll get back to focusing on stuff now. Got a lot to do this to do this week now. My goal today is probably eight-ish of these episodes, ten-ish at least. Again, I want to push these to February, but I thought at this point I might just focus on pushing to past August. The end of August when when our baby's due, so into September, uh, so I might push these today past there if I can, if Rod doesn't wake up screaming and stops me, push these to past them, then focus on Bar, push them to that point, maybe push them to the end, if I get it done in time, and then go back into Kenchi's, and just make sure everything's past there, and then just go back slowly doing what I was recently doing and trying to focus them all the way to the end. So like I said, I'll probably do eight or ten of these today. Then probably do the same with Bar, if my time is looking good, I might push Bar to the end. Then go back to Kenshi, try to do them to the end. While well, I'm still keeping everything else going, like IWD, you know, editing the Star Citizen, that last power that I need to get up, you know, etc. Everything else on the channel to keep up to date. And then hopefully this time, before they're here, I'll come back to Gal Save and then try and push you up into February, basically, Gal Save 4. Obviously the drawback won't be as up to date. But, like I said, in my life right now, baby's had to come. First six months, I really want to spend as much time with them as possible, for obvious reasons. Uh, so I only really want to have one or two things I have to do each week for the channel. For that six months at least. That's why I'm trying to push everything like six months ahead. And then hopefully I can get into more of a... I do 12 weeks of stuff over 10 week period thing like I used to do before. Get you know, more into a nice routine like that with everything. So in that sense, stuff will stay up a bit more to date for you. So the good thing for me to be behind right now though, if I do do 8 to 10 episodes now, and then it'd be another, uh, probably another few weeks, minimum if not, near the end of August, or even start September when I'll start coming back to this, so this might be a bit more up to date in that sense, but we'll see. Anyway, so with that being said, last time I believe we were doing the missions, and we did the tutorial so far, it took us 8 episodes to do it, we went a bit longer than 15 minutes per episode. Um, I think I would like... Oh, here's something. Does Stardock, without going out on Steam, have the patch notes on the screen anywhere? To show what they've been doing, because again, I want to keep up to this stuff, but I don't really been able to of late. I've noticed a few dead blogs been popping up, and it's like, oh, I get technically to read that, you don't just have that time. And before you say, well, you're technically down two, three days, yeah, but I just kind of want to sit down and play something relax and not focus on the channel or read really something up for the channel. But like, I love this game, it's awesome. But at the same time, I, I didn't really feel like doing it at that point, because again, for the channel right now. Okay, so yeah, I think we'll just go into and just keep doing some of these for now then. Oh, I did the wrong thing, then that was a new game. That was a new game, people. Uh, I wanted missions. So we did tutorial. Does it, do you have any way of telling you you've passed it, like ticking it or something? Because it took a lot longer than I thought. I thought tutorial would be like, you know, one episode, two episodes, max 50 minutes, and then it'll do something like 40, 50 minutes an episode, I think. Then I had to finish it. And if not mistaken, during my take a look at it, I did it there, so I've done that twice now. Keeps it all nice complete for this, though. Okay. The 
the story so far. Train Alliance Ascent. Here is 2307. It has been decades since the Train Alliance and their coalition were able to liberate the known universe from the evil Dreddy Empire and their thralls. Galaxy finds itself at peace other than the continuing profilation of hyperdrive. Prof Federation? I'm not sure what that word means, of the hyperdrive, which allows some of the aggressive mind civilizations to join the galactic stage. Today, finds D.L. Bradley in charge of the Leverance system. His neighbouring stars, rumours are that the new civilization, the Exilic, whatever that word is, is attacking freighters and extorting civilizations into paying protection money. These rumours are true, then something must be done. Place train, bring stable to sector, should all minor civilizations survive? Oh god, you've got to protect the minor ones. Protect three minor civilizations, defeat the Zen. Okay, so it's a one on one at least, because the Tori did that give you more info than that? Set to ah. That was really broad. Just re secure it. Okay. More opponents for this. So we've put, hopefully passed this in this section. And one good thing as well, by doing these. I feel right now it's something I can focus on. Well, we'll get to three, for example, when you did these. And it's the problem, if you, if you watch my series, you know that was the problem I had with it. Um, they originally had them listed like this, but I think these are in correct order. And then halfway through, I don't know what sponge it was, they decided to put timeline wise. Well, I'm fine with that, I prefer it timelined. Makes sense. But it, what, did, what didn't make sense, the old things, like the tutorial, have the original mechanics. Even though you're like three, four sponge in head, all these brand new mechanics, this, that still used this stuff with half the mechanics missing. They didn't change them. And what that meant was one of the last things that had the timeline was actually tutorial. So one of the last things, I don't think it was the last, but it was near the, the end. So there was like 10 things to do. It was like number 9. On the Galaxy 3 timeline was the actual tutorial. So after, you know, doing a big game here with all the mechanics, then doing a, a, a game here and in the missions. So let's say for this one, for example, in the missions, and it had two of the mechanics missions, uh, mission, uh, two of the mechanics. Missing, get my words out, two mechanics missing because they were came with the latest expansion. This was like expansion 2, for example. Uh, and then jump to this one, what happened to be from expansion bloody one. So even more mechanics missed, then jump to this one, what had basically almost all the mechanics in because from the new expansion, then jump to the tour that had bloody none of the mechanics except for the original stuff. And then jump finally that had, I think, all the mechanics in. It was a bit weird jumping back and forth to the different editions. And obviously, I came across that because I was doing like, you know, I. I I did one, two mission. Well, I think I did a big game. Then I did one or two missions. I did another big game, another big game, and then I jumped into doing these. And then it was like, oh, 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 we're all over the bloody place now with the mechanics. So if I focus on these now and get these done with, and then when new ones are added with new expansions, it should keep me theoretically up to date with the mechanics. Meaning I won't be jumping back and forth, back and forth. Hopefully. And it also means that if new mechanics have been introduced here, once these are done, either I get to see them here for the first time or I get to see them in the big game when I do it later on. Meaning there's newer stuff for me to work out later if all these were covered in, say, before the Supernova expansion came out, for example. I don't know when these were added. So, so it keeps all the, new, the, the older stuff at the start of the series and the newer stuff later on in the series, like the way it should be. So I think that's another good reason doing this right now. Plus, I can sit back and just knock one of these down, you know, like eight, ten episodes, boom, boom, eight, ten episodes, boom, boom, whatever, boom, 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 and get through them and then start doing the big games and doing what I want. And I also let the game get more advanced, get more expansions, yada, 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 and we're all good in the horde, people. Okay, so yeah, we'll do this one. So, I don't think they give you any indication of length, because this was a hell of a lot longer than I expected to be for a tutorial. That's for sure. And it looks like these were the last, ooh, okay. I was going to say the last two, but there's one here that we're going to be playing as Alliance. So these might actually be set. I'm hoping these are in correct order, like the timeline thing. There's a way to tell in 2178, 2307. So, like, this is a start, this is way advanced. 2307. Yeah, looks like it. This is the same year. So it wouldn't make sense to put it after, unless you're playing the opposite side. 237. Uh, two, three, oh, looks like they're all 237 now. Oh, wait, 2317. So, yeah, so we jump here. And then we got 2317. Okay, so they are in the correct order, basically, aren't they? So, we base had the early one thing that we've done twice. Uh, we now got a few this year things to do. And we get to be some other p people in it. I don't know who's going to be from the different so I don't want to mess around with them now until we get to them. 
and then it looks like we is that's that's the same one in it. And then we have three of them. We get to do train again or Taran, how you say it. Uh, a few years later, and then the same year, get to be them again. Look, the return of them. Okay, that's cool. Again, this should be normal difficulty, right? Yeah, default one on default. Might put it a little harder when we do a big game, but we'll take it on default right now. Because again, we're still learning Gaussian 4. Yes, I'm a veteran for Gaussian 3, basically, at this point in time. But still, Gaussian 4 is a bit different here and there. There's two mechanics I'm still... Like, when you saw my other things, oh, I wish I realised that I started the game. <laughs> uh, so that would have really helped back then. So, there's still a lot to do. And also, my other thing, by doing these missions, and, and I do have to go away for quite a while, as we get a last cuts in here, quite a while and come back, if it's anything like Gaussian 3, like I said, they don't really touch these missions, so it, they won't really break on me, where a massive game might, theoretically. You know, Star Trek's generally good at not doing that, but you know what I'm saying. When new mechanics in your general will start a new game. With these, it don't really matter, because they ain't going to add new mechanics to these sections. Because they've obviously balanced them, at least with Gaussian 3, they balanced them with their mechanics in mind. So I think that's why they don't touch them. And hopefully they introduce me slowly to the mechanics and when I do finally get a big game going again, it's like, yay! I already know what to do with this! <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next year though, really. Wow, well, I was really focusing again back on the channel again, but like I said, this year it's just get it out, get it out, get it out, pump, 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 basically right now. And I'm feeling I'm running out of time, I'm not going to get it out in time. Since the Terran comes. Alliance introduced the Hyperdrive, this groundbreaking technology has swiftly spread across the galaxy ushering in a multitude of new civilizations. That's cool. We categorize minor civilizations as those yet to achieve faster than light travel. Okay. Notably, the Zaloxi, a species distinct from us, Zaloxi. recently acquired hyperdrive blueprints from unsuspecting researchers who ventured onto their planet. The ethical constructs of the Zaloxi starkly contrast with ours. What we consider criminal, including theft, forms the backbone of their culture. As a result, They've quickly become a significant threat in our region, okay. mainly targeting vulnerable civilizations sure, with little means to defend right themselves. Our chief aim is to protect these civilizations. To achieve this, we must draw them into our sphere of influence. A strategic move would be to set up a starbase nearby, okay, star gradually base expanding now. its dominion. Got you. Concurrently, we need to intensify our efforts to remove the Siloxi from this sector. Best of luck. Okay, I can put lost where I was on that. <laughs> I was like, it's low, because I was like, okay, I can't find where they are. That's why I wasn't going like, ooh, ooh. Hello, Bradley. Okay, it's been a decade since the last galactic conflict. The known systems have been more or less at peace. There's been a shift through. Uh, there are reports that a new civilization is conducting less than legitimate business. Rumour is that the... The Loxy, previously unknown, are responsible. The Terrain Alliance must intervene, bring stability to the system, and deal with the Zaloxi group. Minor civilizations have been hurt the most, so our priority should uh, should be bringing them under Alliance influence. Once they are secure and the Zaloxi stream of ill-gotten resources is cut off, the Zaloxi can be dealt with. Strengths and weaknesses. When providing stability and protection, minor civilizations serve as a source of resource, setting their Settling, sorry, near and keeping them under alliance influence will give a distinct advantage over the unsubscription Zaloxi. Unscrupulous. Okay, how big is this? I would say it's about as big as a Torah mission, wouldn't you? Maybe a little smaller, but I would say there's a hell lot more stars. More closely together than the tutorial. So, I think it's a little smaller, but there's more stars, definitely. Okay. So, firstly, do we even know where this Loxy is? To me, since that's a bloody mission, they should bloody give us all the indication. I shouldn't have to explore for them. Because you talked about them. Do I have to find them? Because this is me. I kind of feel there should be an arrow saying there's Loxy. Well, not Loxy, they're mining ones. Or do I have to explore the miners and they just contacted us or something? Is that what we're doing? Should all miners have to survive? Three minus. Defeat this Loxy. So priority is to find that the miners doesn't protect them, isn't it? But I don't seem to have an option where they are. I'm assuming they should be quite close, though. So it'd be a bit silly if you've got like, this Loxy here and they're bloody over here. They're just going to kill them, won't it? Okay. What have you given me? 
I've got an endeavor. What is a large but fragile ship equipped to colonize? Okay, so we colonize the world straight away. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's this? Oh, we're able to travel deeper into the galaxy than our man vessels. Okay, so you're basically a thingy. Unlimited. Unlimited. Oh, okay. Cool. But do you have you have no weapons? So we don't want to get that killed, ideally. And what are you? Discovery. Equipped with a precursor survey module. Scientist explore. No, I can't go to my first attack ship and the one for anomalies. So I want you grabbing them first. So we have a capsule. And we have space junk. That's closer, so let go with the capsule. Just missed it. Okay, let's go. Some durium there, so that'd be great. Uh, fouls, we'll get plus three, which is our research. Welcome to the research screen. This is where you'll direct this your scientists to push the so heard that repeatedly, multiple times. Okay. Don't want to say mistakes I did in the uh, tutorial. Let's have a look at the tree to see if we have access to everything. Because that meant what really screwed me up. And technically, and I say technically, I technically lost it, didn't I, by one turn. Because I wanted to research certain things that weren't even in the bloody tree yet. Uh, okay, technology library. So let's have a look. No, no, okay, I want the thingy there, not library. Do we have access to the full tree here? Okay, that looks a lot bigger already. Okay, I think we got access to the full tree. Engineering. I would say we do, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's also why the tutorial was supposed to be smaller, because you didn't have access to the full tree, so that means certain things you can focus on. I didn't realise that, and I focused on it. Uh, thinking they were going to pop up instead of doing this in checking. I would say the full tree is roughly here, wouldn't you? But there is a little bit missing, it's not too much. I can't remember off my head what it was I needed at the time I was trying to get. I wasn't even in the bloody game at that point for that tree. Oh, it was something to do with the planet. Like, I wanted to get them happier, wasn't it? That was it. Happy? No. Can I, do I have to type, like, search here? No. Oh, no, it just cut me out. It was something to do with happiness, wasn't Greetings. it? Greetings. Welcome to the planet yeah, management. Uh, where is it? Refactoring. Where is it? Approval. It was approval I wanted. And I wanted to research stuff approval and I killed them because they weren't in the tree. And I was like, oh, oh, let me pick this next, pick this, then I'll go for approval, then I'll go for approval. Then when I find like, okay, nothing's for approval popping up, let me look for it. There was no approval things. I'm assuming I have them this time. Ah, here we go. Do we not have them still? I kind of wish they were highlight here. So, planet adaption. Okay. Do we have anything to do with approval? It's kind of really fitting in here or something. Capitals. Hold shift to hold the ticket tip. I don't see anything that's giving me approval. Do we still not have it? How are with AP? Like I'm assuming, are they still missing the, t the, the, the tech trees a little bit because this is technically still like a tutorial thing? Because I should have a way to improve them. What would it be under? Obviously it would be weapons. Defense, it wouldn't make sense. Logistics wouldn't make sense. Government? Engineering wouldn't. It would have to be government, wouldn't it? Government trying to prove you? To make you happier? Yeah, you know, just seeing a weird one under government, they don't generally make people happy, so. Starbase, astral, space. Extreme conversations. I just want to make sure I can go down the approval thing, because I kind of upset people with it, and then I can't approve them. Approval. Improve them. Improve the happiness, that works. 
Either this isn't as good as Galaxy as 3 or we don't have options to approve all stuff right now. It's kind of annoying as a case. Because again, you build them buildings, that helps with approval. If you can't build the buildings, how do you help with approval? Oh well, it's the largest commander ship. Culture outreach. Influence grow. Culture push. I don't see stuff of approval. Why? At this stage of the game, we're just not supposed to keep people happy. Entertainer. That's for diplomacy. Medium that can speak without fear of diplomacy bonus. Not happiness bonus. I don't know why the approval stuff is. And a way having extra stuff now without the approval is making it even worse because I've got all this to look for it. Before, at least when I realised, oh, that's easy, there's nothing there because there's barely anything. Entertainment? Not as any. That's not really helping, that's giving me like. I just, I just want, like, you know, this would be for approval or something, so I know where to go for it. Influence, culture. You guys, I guess I'll ignore it for now. Um, lots of the screen allows to search uh, side policies, allowed to stop the old after mines. I'll go for the policies, and then we can do the mines. Um, Welcome to the shipyard yep. screen. Wait. So I'm probably going to want a constructor that is for star bases. Uh, looks like we have probes now. Just want a quick probe. One of them. Probably going to need a colony ship or two. But then they use people, so I need to make sure that's there. So kind of probably want the constructor. Construction first, then a thingy, and then another probe. Do it that way, and then hopefully I can pay and rush them if I need to. So, I guess you head this way, mate. Oh, that was like a good plan, for a while. Eight, okay, eight. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, I got more things unlocked, good. Just for him to get. Do I go for this eight first? Or do I wait and get a better planet initially? Because how's my people doing? Okay, so I can technically send a few people off straight away. Okay, upgrade, change, or still complete the current. What are you gonna give me? Like this one's gonna give me two manufacturing straight away. What are you gonna give me? Charges. Greatest to unlock charges. Oh, so this will give me charges to do something quicker. Like that. Okay, we'll go with that. So that's some help everything being built. Okay. For improvement. Do do do. This is council. Yeah. Is that just going to be 135 turns? We're going to be waiting on that then for a bit. Of course we have here though. We have uh, central of your cells in manufacturing. Um, population. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so that's the cogs of manufacturing one. So I can get a plus from this. Or should we even get a plus anyway? Why should I be here? Yeah, but now I could maybe build into that. Let's put my, let's put my nail skirts for now. 
well. Maybe later on I can do a terraform here and connect it to it for, for another one. Capital mainframe. So you have a bit of everything. Taurus wealth and influence. Okay, research. Population. Do you have any wealth ones? No. Oh, what's this one? Why are you free? Research. And this has research. Does this have research? Plus three to research. I'll take that one. Big to research. And you are capital city, so you give me income and po population. So we want to be in a population one. What's that? Population two? What are you? Grey ground relic. Give you this. Yeah. I kind of split them up here, but I tend to put them next to each other, but we might be to build into them and get the balances later. So, but yeah, that's going to slow us way down. So you're going to go up there, unfortunately. But yeah, charge up, instantly complete current research was great, but. Mm. That's going to be the quickest thing to do. Do it that way. Don't really want to waste my money at this stage. You know, it would be nice to rush it to where you know where stuff is. You are five. I don't mind getting both of these. How quickly are we producing? Okay, it's not changing right now. Must be to these are built. Fair enough. Do you just want to explore, just not get yourself killed. Do not get your... I'm not even clicked at you, are what? Click in the station, tell the station to not get killed. Station, fly here! I'm the first time. So there's a screen that allows us to assign policies, yes. As I jump to this instead. That's not what I wanted. Uh... Where's my civilization screen and you? Welcome to the civilization. Okay, something that's gonna really help us, but not hurt us. Research bonus is only applied to homeworld, so that'd be good right now. Uh, growth, approval down. <laughs> I'd love to grow faster, but I don't want to affect the approval because I don't seem to find anything to push the approval, so I might leave that one. Otherwise, I think that's what we went last time. Food loss and gross income, that would help, but I don't think it's gonna help that much. Hit points, move there. Influence grow, that'd be good. And gross income. Apply to home world. I'm saying that brainstorming right now. Gross income five, pollution. I don't want to really affect pollution. I think I was looking for some way to have pollution too. And I couldn't didn't have enough research for things. So I'm gonna leave that too. So I'm thinking between these two. So do I just get the extra research, get through my stuff quicker? It means I have more stuff to Because there's the thing too. If I'm against one person only, technically I can't trade with anyone. Well, I believe, again, unless I mix up with other Forexes, I can trade with the Miners. So the more I have to trade, the more money I can use to propel myself above the guy we're fighting. So that might be better, but at the same time, if I can grow quicker, the influence, my income is 25. Okay, I think we're going to go with Heart of the Empire. No, no, no. Because when finding me, it's influence isn't as important. So I go with Brainstorming. To really get that boost early on. And then, unless I get something better down here, when I unlock this. So you can get to actually unlock more slots. I, I'm going to need to check if it's so many technologies or a certain one to, to do this. If it's a certain one, I might go for that straight away. And then put that in there. So is it a number? So what what did this call? This is called so stream policies. Let's see if I can find it. Wrong one. I gotta keep going for the wrong one. Poll. Let's see. Okay. Reduce crime across our civilization. Plan to court. Policy state policy. Uh, these are the same thing. It's not moving when I click on Doctrine. I don't see Doctrine on there though. Okay, why does he not go to this one? Are these supposed to be here but they're not? Because it's like a thingy mission? 
Like, how do I unlock more policies? I know I can because I've done it in other games, but is it because I'm just unlocking enough of these, or is it a certain one to unlock them? Do you see what I'm saying? Communication technologies... Allows you to be able to communicate with our aliens... Communication... I guess I'll just see if it how it goes for now. I'll finish what we're doing. Okay. So you're gonna go that far anyway. But you can go beyond then some. Oh no. Oh yeah, I forgot when you start survey and stuff, it takes a turn or two. Gals if one it didn't. Uh, sorry, Gals if three. I don't know if it didn't one or you know if you survey in one. Anyway, that means sent. Oh god, 30 bloody minutes. Gone down 31. These are supposed to be 15 minute episodes, but I did talk a bit more at the start, didn't I? Talking about the channel explaining things. So, anyway, hopefully 15 minute episodes from now on. Please like, please subscribe. See you next time and have a job. You've been awesome. Thank you for watching. Have a great one, everybody. Bye, everybody.